Okay, so let's see the um, our the, our money to money relation we did uh, with the credit utilities and doing the conjunction table like uh, in the way that we did it uh, will will be helpful here. So to start, I'll go to the user controller. I already added the CRUD to creator here. So what I will do, I will create, uh, I will complete it. So I will add the query object. And um, I, I think it's a better idea just, I think I said it before, to add like global function somewhere exported and it will return an object. But each time you just pass to it like the user entity and stuff like that. Since we are repeating ourselves. But anyway, so the limit for the for each query is 10. Only get 10 users. And uh, always imagine it. Always imagine it will be true. Okay. Um, now I will put the joins. So here I, I think I made like a confusing error. So I'll just show you. With the, with the naming I chose for, if you go to the entities, so like for the following and the followers. And I believe they should be uh, swapped. But uh, anyway, uh, the idea is just to see how we can do this stuff. Uh, but, but I'm sorry in advance. So the first thing we can join the followers. So you should get their names from here. So they are. They should be the same names as the properties decorated by the relations decorators. So here I should put followers and just for now I'll put eager to true so I don't uh, have to put the request parameters by myself. And another thing I will add the following which is the second property so following be equal to object which contains eager to so I'll just save it uh, I already run the server on dev so to restart let, let me just expose my my local host so any rock like usually so gtv 3030 this is the link Go to post women. Let's just I'll put this link here. It's a get request and the path is user. Is it user or users? I keep forgetting. I think user. So yeah. So I think most of them would become would be empty since uh, I was trying a real I think when I was trying to see it I mess up some of the things so let's add, let's add uh, something like the page should equal I think we have 400 so let, so then 40 let's say 32 okay I think now we should see some data Status null, get it null. Hmm. So, <laughs> I, I was testing a lot as you can see, but uh, here is an example where uh, we can see that and the followers and the following. So, this user with ID 345 has followers array which contains this another user and this uh, and, the, and following array with this user. So, he's, he's or she um, uh, following one user and Followed by one user, yeah, he even, Eva, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, but um, I think so, uh, we need to see the following ID and the follower ID. So I'm not, I didn't add them in the in the user follower entity. I didn't add them. Uh, so I only, I only added the property that will represent this relation. But uh, you can add them easily. I, uh, I showed you how in the comments section, in the comments entity. So just add column uh, type 
would be number and the name should be the same name you, you specified here and this will be the number and the same, I will just copy it and do the same thing but with the other column this so I think hopefully the server is start fast if I now send the same request I should see the these two properties inside each object so yeah we have them now and uh, so yeah, I, I said it's confusing because uh, earlier uh, so this user uh, 350 with this ID have uh, an empty follows array okay but in the following if you look uh, so the following ID is 350 and if you scroll down it will be 350 follow them for all of them so this user is following this guy okay and this user here is following this guy so all of these are actually uh, followers not not you followed them or it, uh, um, I'm still confused uh, so these are the following Yeah, so I I I get confused by my own logic. So that's nice. So yeah, that's nice. I'm thinking about it. I think it's um uh, No, actually I I think it's correct. So this user and this user and this one are all following uh, the one we are looking at right now so they are followers not following yeah I think yeah yeah I, I think I was sure so I was correct so I need in the user entity I think you need to swap these so one too many uh, with the following we should be named followers and the other thing here and uh, but if you if you do it I think uh, if you are uh, maybe following along but uh, if, if you do it I think just drop the database then do it uh, which would be yeah, I, th I think that's that. That's what you need to do. And okay, let's go. But I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not, I just I, ho I hope you uh, get get the idea. Uh, so let's just try to get the uh, user corresponding to each object from each array. So to do this, uh, I will go here at the user controller CRUD uh, and add another two properties. The first one is the followers dot. I'll show you what we will put after the dot, but just just bear with me. I think this is also another confusing part, which uh, is my mistake. Uh, so this relation, if you go to the user follower entity, so it's this one, the followers. Uh, to reference a user, if you go to the user entity, it's also named followers so it will be something like this which is very bad uh, at least or at least not, maybe not mad it's very confusing and also for the following so and you need to give them an alias so it's, uh, I think when you are when they are building the query this will be used an alias this for the after the dot so depending on how where they put it it might produce an error so just to save some time alias as uh, okay, copy this so user underscore followers and put it here as well user underscore following maybe i should choose like simpler uh, example but yeah, I think just look out on how you name them the entities. I think you should uh, name them better than me. I always get confused by this system with the this user following this user, or at least when the same table with the same table uh, uh, contains some joints with itself. I usually get confused. Uh, but uh, 
let's see so now each object inside each area yeah should be should contain uh, another object which represent the user and I think here I also made another mistake so <laughs> so the following I actually I'm, I'm showing I should you I should here show the user that his ID or her ID is uh, not the same one we are showing right now this one so here I'm showing 345 which is the same user and I think I think fixing it is uh, simple maybe obvious even so like this so for each followers for each follow for each follower inside the followers are they get the following what we, what they are following uh so i think something like this i know this is this is confusing but uh at least we can see how we can uh, how we can join many to many relations and how how building uh, or how creating the conjunction table ourselves will be useful so now i think you should see it correctly so this user 349 is being uh, is being followed by this user which is here is his information uh yeah i think this is like uh yeah i i think i think this is good uh or at least quite good i'm not sure um yeah, maybe maybe we can now see uh, the other routes that they implement the post, put, and delete. And maybe you can see maybe we can see uh, how we can override these. I think I showed you how we can disable some of them, but I would I will do it in a separate video where I can I will show you how to override them completely and uh, and yeah, and see how we can access the same request that this CRUD uh, receives, the functions itself. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the many to many. Uh, no, uh, no, one thing. Uh, one side note, if uh, you want to filter based on the count relation, uh, you can Google that. I think I, I uh, addressed this issue before. Uh, you can't count, you, you can, you'll find a couple of solutions. But I think uh, the the best idea, in my opinion, to store these counts inside the table itself, inside each record. So as we did in the posts. So let me go to the post entity and show you. And as you can see at the end here, we are storing the number of comments. And if you go to the and how we are calculating this if you go to the comments subscri subscriber um, we have this this function here which uh, activates after is after each insert it's, it's basically a trigger but you write it in, in your language not SQL I'm not sure if they convert it to a trigger I'm, I'm not sure I don't think so but anyway uh, because if you add this uh, from a C from SQL from the database, from the database code uh, directly this won't be activated so I think it's uh, like and maybe I'm not sure but maybe an, uh, only in the application layer not in the database okay so uh, th there will be a cut but uh, back to my uh, idea is uh, you should add a subscriber inside the user um, no I'm thinking about it I, th I think you should add a uh, yeah, a subscriber into the user follower entity. So after each insert or or maybe delete or uh, and update for each record, just uh, get the user's ID from the following and the follower ID, and just do the calculation there and update uh, a column you will add here called maybe the follower count and the number of follower number of followers count number of users following you something like this. So yeah, I hope it's clear. But yeah, just add these two columns here, and put a subscriber to the user follower, uh, which should behave, which should uh, calculate the number after each update or insert or delete. Uh, and I think you'll be ready to go. Uh, 